The thing that can revolutionise the world is Enterprise. And I'm sorry for the shaky camera, I just, I don't know, my hand is, ends up moving it too much when I'm clicking record. So Enterprise is taking the initiative to do something, to start something new. And it's a very old concept because we've been doing this for thousands of years. We've always been picking up new things, new habits, new lifestyles, new forms, new ways of living. Uh, enterprise is definitely not a new concept. It's it's a um, it's grounded in us, really. It's grounded in our biological makeup and our DNA. So we are always prompted in a way to um, partake in enterprise and start something new. So. Um, the concept of enterprise is evolutionary. The only reason we have survived so long is because we have um, been conducting this enterprise in our lives and that's by taking on something new. So if some challenge is coming on, then we're forced to take the initiative and start doing something that we weren't previously doing. And that takes someone being proactive and if we had not done this then we would not have survived because you can't just stick to the same old ways if the same old ways are killing you off so you need to um, be able to have this enterprise within you and um, see what new habit you need to pick up or if there's a bunch of warriors over the hill there you probably need to start training so that you can fin them off so that the the tribe doesn't die so enterprise is essentially seeing what you need to do and then begin doing it if you don't have enterprise and you're just going to die you're not going to adapt you're not going to evolve and this isn't exclusive to humans but it's particularly universal in that many species like lice and um, lichens and even fish i'd say they've all evolved in some way to adapt to their environment and that's doing something new, which is enterprise. So in that way, it's more than just a concept. And I'm going very far forward here and all of a sudden, but it's applicable today in business because a lot of it initiative is needed for setting up a business and running it as well. So unless you have this initiative, then the business isn't going to exist. The whole idea of it is just going to crumble and collapse you it will not have existed in the first place without enterprise so enterprise is needed for setting up any form of business it's taking the initiative to start something new so enterprise is needed for the business world and businesses are incredibly important and they business and enterprise is really uh, folded together so business is the reason for 99 percent of our industrial progress and um, that's that's to mean our employment everything that we own really is made by enterprise everything that you can see in the room behind me is made by enterprise so it's a very important thing if we didn't have business then we'd still be living outside we need a construction companies to build those walls we need a company to make that bed even that clock that doesn't work and the bookshelf that's lying on all of those books i need a publishing companies so without enterprise we won't have anything we won't have this bathrobe um we won't have this pencil case we won't have these headphones and i'm gonna pull more stuff just out of nowhere so it's definitely the most important thing in terms of our physical property business and enterprise is the sole reason the business can survive and even come about so the producer makes the consumer's life easier if you're a consumer then only the producers who have set up businesses are the reason that you're not living outside or not dead so they've essentially transcended well not i won't say transcended but they've excelled humanity to a comfortable state of living so now I'm just going to discuss what you should do with this information. So start applying it in your own life. Try and start doing something new. You don't have to set up a business, but you can uh, see what you could 
you could benefit from, maybe see what you enjoy doing or what you would like to see yourself enjoy doing. If you don't like running but you you like imagining yourself as a runner then go through with it. Start building it up slowly but starting it all uh, is enterprise in itself and if you're a quitter then uh, do something new and not quit because even the absence of action is action itself and a good form of action is not doing a negative action so do make sure that you maintain whatever you have because that in itself can be enterprise if you're, you're not the kind of person who maintains something of course I can't just say um, start running and continue running even if you feel pain because it depends on the type of person whether they are capable of doing that in their mind or whether they get swamped by their brain's inability to in endure anything beyond their own limited comforts. So start applying it in your own life. And again, I said this in another video, I had a whole video on it. See yourself as a producer rather than cons a consumer because that's really taking the, the whole mindset of enterprise to a next level. Start making stuff, just create stuff, paint something, draw something, um, record something, type up something online, but or even um, create a, a fitter version of yourself. That's another form of enterprise where you're being a producer. You just produce something, and you're really then reaping the benefits that humanity have been uh, benefiting from for thousands of years. So it's the main thing we benefit from. I don't think anything else comes as close in terms of our material wealth relative to the animal kingdom uh, that as much as produ producing from enterprise it's certainly an, an extremely important aspect and factor in our development and I think it's one of the only reasons that we actually lived. Of course there are other reasons, dumb luck and stuff like that asteroid killed all the dinosaurs. Um, that's another factor obviously but Enterprise is the reason we came so far.